I know Sicily is a brand that many of you are curious about and I get so many questions about it. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this video. But not to worry, there'll be timestamps and all that stuff. Okay, hey guys. Today, we are going to be doing a full face of Sicily Beauty. I'm sure many of you know there are some staple skincare and beauty products that I constantly talk about and share with you here on my channel. But I wanted to do a full face. So there were just a few little bits that I needed to pick up to fill in the gaps. So here we have some new to me products that we'll be testing out and trying out today to complete this full face. Of course, we'll talk about everything and let's see. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to my face. No filters, no makeup, just me. We're nice and close so that you can see how everything applies, everything performs. I am a 35 plus year old young lady. I have combination skin, I have an oily T-zone, and it's pretty normal right now, but it does get a little dry at times, my outer perimeter. Most days for me, it's just concealer, eyebrows, mascara, and some gloss. But when I can, I do like to glam. <laughs> so... Who, what is Sicily Paris, you ask? Well, Sicily Paris is a French luxury brand that creates, produces, and distributes high performance plant based skincare, makeup, fragrance, and hair care products. Did you even know that Sicily does hair care? I use it. Sorry, the presentation isn't super pristine. <laughs> this right here? My scalp and hair has never been happier. This happens to be one of the best shampoos I have ever used. And what you see here is just me blow drying and putting it in a ponytail. I have naturally curly hair and it tends to be on the drier side and I do have a dry scalp. This revitalizing shampoo contains macadamia oil and other great ingredients that I find to be very nourishing to my scalp. And my hair has never looked or felt better, so this is pretty good. We won't go too much into this, but I had to mention it because anytime I will recommend this, people are just in like awe that Sisley even has hair care products. So it's, it's something that I wanted to mention rather quickly. Shall we begin with primer? This is the Sisley Double Tinsure. The Double Tinsure is a powerful lifting and priming skincare with botanical extracts. Now, <laughs> this has to be the most used primer I have ever used in my entire life. Mm -hmm. This has been repurchased multiple times because it is that good. Any and everyone that I have recommended this product to and that has tried it asks me this question all the time. What was I thinking and what was I doing before this? <laughs> and that really makes me happy and feel good because I take pride in the things that I recommend and share with you because I have a standard of it has to be the best or why bother? When it comes to your skin, I think it deserves the best. And this is the best. <laughs> This is the texture of the product. It is very much a gel-like texture. Definitely you want to keep a product like this on your fingertips because your fingertips do not absorb product like the palms of your hands will. And this is a product you definitely want your skin to enjoy. <laughs> a pump portion is very sufficient for all over my face application. This primer, you really don't even feel it on your face. It doesn't get heavy or feel like it's congesting and clogging your pores. It is very, very lightweight. This is a primer that I like to let sit on my skin for a minute or so because it'll then get a little bit tacky. And you know what that means when it comes to makeup. It's going to hold on to it nicely. Now this primer is skincare and there are added benefits to it. And the ones that I've noticed most is how plump and supple and nourished my skin always looks whenever I use it. So while this primer sits for a little bit, I will then either go in and do my eyebrows or 
finish prepping the rest of my products, but foot to day. We're going to be going in with an eye cream. Delicate area of the under eye is nice and hydrated. You will notice a big difference when it comes to your concealer performance. Now this product is newer to me, but ever since I started using it, I have just been night and day, night and day. <laughs> it's been really great. So this is the Black Rose Eye Contour Fluid. This is a refreshing eye fluid with exceptional revitalizing performance. The eyes seem to be smoothed, awake, and illuminated in a single stroke. So what I do is I'll just go ahead and do a controlled pump. It's very easy to control. It doesn't get away from you. And this is what the product looks like. This is a unique sensory experience indeed. <laughs> It's formulated without essential oils. The product is naturally scented from May rose water. I've definitely noticed that my under eyes have been a lot more hydrated and smoothed, and the applicator really helps depuff. This is the Sicily Blur Expert Powder. This is a perfecting and smoothing powder. This is a powder that I've used quite a bit, so it's not pretty. It's very well loved. <laughs> Sicily is offering a little sponge applicator, it looks like, with any purchase of this powder. Now, the Blur Expert is an exceptionally fine, perfecting, smoothing veil of powder that illuminates and beautifies the skin due to ultra high performance makeup key ingredients. The light matte HD complex ensures an equally matte and ultra luminous finish. It's transparent and ultra light texture melts into the skin and creates an enhancing veil for a second skin effect with very natural re results, no powdery finish. This powder can be applied before makeup, after makeup, and you can use it to touch up. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I apply the powder to my skin before foundation. And I'll keep it on one side so that you can see the difference. So I'm gonna be using the Chantecaille Buff and Blur Brush. So I'm just gonna swirl it around. I'm just lightly pressing it into my skin. This is the side that we applied the powder. And this is just my skin. This is definitely not a completely colorless powder. This is the Fito Tint Ultra Eclat Foundation. I have her in the shade 4 Plus Cinnamon. This is a light diffusing oil-free fluid foundation that reveals skin that looks instantly radiant and flawless with imperfections minimized and a blurred effect on the skin tone. A quick honorable mention, the Fito Hydra Tint Beautifying Tinted Moisturizer is fantastic, but because today I wanna just do a little more, we're gonna go in with foundation. What I like to do is go in with a pump on my sponge. And let's apply it to the side with the powder first. Now because I'm using a sponge, I'm definitely going to get lighter coverage, but this foundation does build beautifully. Light application, and again, this is the side that we use the powder. I'm going in with some more product. And I'm going to keep the focus on my areas of concern, which are really just right here. And around my mouth. I prefer this method of application because I truly enjoy when my makeup looks like skin and it doesn't look heavy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply on this side. I am intentionally avoiding my under eye area because there's really no need to apply too much product under that area because I am gonna go in with concealer. And I don't wanna make the area heavy unnecessarily. Do you know what I mean? My next product is concealer. This product is brand new to me. 
I want to say thank you to Grace of Everyday Edit. I needed the nudge. I needed it. I needed just that last little push to just go for it. This is the eye concealer with botanical extracts. It masks dark circles and signs of fatigue, visibly smooths fine lines, reduces appearance of puffiness. Please sign me up. <laughs> and I went looking for the shades. I saw that there were a total of six shades. This is what the shade range looks like. Okay, it looks really beautiful, doesn't it? So I picked up shade five, which is the second to darkest. So here is what you get. You get a little brush and the concealer. You're getting 15 milliliters. Wow, that seems like a lot, doesn't it? Blended it out a little bit so you can see here. So it has one of those applicators that are gonna be cooling on the under eye. Now you obviously don't have to use the applicator, but I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm so excited to try this. All right, so I'm going to... I usually just focus my concealer exactly where I need it, which is really mostly in this area, and then I'll go in with whatever's left and put it there. I'm gonna try blending it with my finger first because usually the warmth from your finger really helps product just meld into the skin beautifully. So here I have the product applied and yes, I see a difference. The reason I'm this excited for this product is really because I have been struggling the most in finding, like I love all my concealers, they do what they need to do, especially my uh, Chantecai. I use this all the time and I'm pretty much finished with this one, it's like that much left. So it's kind of perfect timing to try a new concealer that I can use on the daily because guys, look. Are you seeing this? Look at my eye. This is like, okay, we need to try the brush. <laughs> Um, I feel like this is going to take forever and I just, I don't have the patience for this. <laughs> I just want to like slap it on and go. So I don't want to use a sponge and absorb the product. So I'm going to use my finger on this side as well. The brush was soft, but I feel like I would be here forever. And I know this video is going to already be really long because I'm yapping on and on and on and on about each and every product. All right. I'm going to set one eye. But this is the Sicily Fito Perder Libre. I hope I said that right. I have her in the shade 4 Sable. So this is a beauty enhancing loose powder, light as veil and soft as a caress, plus Sicily's skincare expertise. I do not like the packaging on this because guys, there's no sifter. This powder gets really, really messy. Let's set this eye. So my right, your left eye, I will be setting with the loose powder. I'm just going to do that one eye and let's see, you know, if we notice a difference or anything. So I'm going to set my T-zone area because those are the areas on my skin that are more oil prone. I'm going to use the newest powder. This is the Fito Powdre Compact. This is a pressed powder, mattifying and beautifying powder. I have it in the shade number three. So this powder creates a perfectly smooth, velvety complexion with second skin formula and incompatible comfort and softness. So I'm just taking a big fluffy brush from La Mia. I'm just gonna press it into my skin. And I like to press it in my smile lines and my T-zone. And that's it. 
I cannot get over this concealer. I love when products can like really just speak for themselves. My next product is a long time favorite. I wouldn't stop talking about this product for a while, but then I had to like tone it down a little bit because you guys were like sick of me for it. <laughs> but it was with good reason, I promise. It's the Sicily Bronzer. And I'm noticing now they have it in a gold packaging. I cannot. They have it in gold packaging now. Oh, it's so pretty. It really is. This is an ultra gentle bronzing gel powder which glides on easily and gives a natural sun kissed to the skin. And again, this is not a new product. I use it all the time. It's not pristine. It's not pretty anymore, but this bronzer has a glowy finish, but it's so beautiful. The formula is fantastic. This is a Wayne Goss number 11. This is my everyday natural wearing bronzer. It's not too much. It gives a natural little sun-kissed glow to your skin without giving you like a harsh stripe, which is really ideal for me on a daily basis. And yes, it has a sheen, but it's not a glittery type of sheen. It's more just like, wow, you were in the sun, you look nice and healthy type of thing. And that's what I love most about it. All right, guys, we are coming along nicely and we're almost done. I really hope that this video isn't a thousand minutes long. <laughs> I know Sicily is a brand that many of you are curious about and I get so many questions about it. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this video. So let's move on to blush highlight. Yeah, because I'm just going to use this today as blush highlight because I don't. Yeah. Now this product is new to me. This is the Highlighting Blush with White Lily. Beautiful presentation, per usual. Got the gold inside. And look at this packaging. The packaging is so beautiful. Do not, my fingerprints are embarrassing me. <laughs> Packaging is just beautiful. Giving you a moment so you can see just how exquisite. This is a highlighter blush that colors and lifts the complexion with a luminous veil. Its enriched formula with white lily extract preserves the skin's comfort and softness. A harmony of peppy and luminous coral shades to enhance and vitalize all complexions. I have to let you watch. Oh, I think it's an overspray. I can't tell. Let's see. Very luminous on the skin, that is for sure. This is what it looks like now after I've used it. And you, the bits of overspray are gone, but if you look in the center here, that's still gonna give you that luminosity. So glowy and beautiful though. But you definitely wanna be careful because you can get out of hand rather quickly. <laughs> so that was the blush. We're gonna do a quick little something on the eyes, the lip, and then we're done. So I'm just going to grab the bronzer and I'm going to run that in my crease. Bronzer in the crease and the outer eye area. This is a little single eyeshadow. And I got it in a very realistic shade that I know that I can use to brighten up my eyes. So this is what the shadow looks like. It is in the shade Matte Nude. An eyeshadow with a half powder, half cream hybrid texture that creates a veil of color and radiance on the eyes. Okay. So I have a Wayne Goss number six brush, and I'm going to focus this on the inner portion of my eye and lid area just to brighten my eye up.
All right, so as many of you know, I am a diehard when it comes to my Gucci mascara and my Chantecai mascara. So I did not purchase a Sicily mascara, but I do have a sample. This is the Thickening and Fortifying Mascara. Instantly thickens, coats, and separates lashes. A fortifying formula enriched with vitamin-packed peptides for fuller, longer, more beautiful lashes day after day. Long-lasting and suitable for sensitive eyes. I am a daily contact wearer, so that speaks to me very much so. How cute is the packaging? Oh, my goodness. How adorable. Let's see what the wand is all about. Look at this thing. This, this wand, okay. Look at that wand. It looks like a little brush. Let's try her out. Hello. <laughs> okay. All right. It does what it says. Okay, lashes. I like that there's some little added benefits to that mascara. We will see. So for the finale, we're going to finish up with a lip product. Defito Lip Twist. It combines color, lip care, and shine in one single twist. And I have been using this because I couldn't help myself. It was too pretty. And I do like the formula. It's very glossy and comfortable. And here goes. I started off with a color that was something I know I would reach for and want to wear. And this is like that perfect kind of color for me. So it is something you twist up. And I don't know. I feel like you have to make sure you use it a certain way so that you don't lose that shape. Because I feel like if you just go like this and apply it, you'll flatten it and you'll lose that sh pointed shape to it. Let me give you a little swatch of her. It's very glossy and smooth and creamy. I like it very much. It's a very beautiful color. I do want to say that be careful because you can definitely <laughs> mess up your product with a cover like that. Of all of the products that are newer to me that I tried today, my standout is going to be the concealer. I love that I don't look as tired as I really am. It's hidden my darkness and like depuffed drastically. I really like it and it feels really nice on the skin. And I know that this is something I can reach for and just blend in with my finger and I don't even have to set. Because... So here's the side that I set. And then here's the side that I didn't set. I think they both look pretty good, but I'm gonna have to wear it for the rest of the day and see. All right, that's it. I'm done yapping your head off. I think I've talked enough today. You can hear it in my voice. I would love to hear the products that you've tried from Sicily and love, or are there some products that I shared with you today that you're now interested in that you weren't before? Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Please don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.